Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about inductors and capacitors. Inductors and capacitors are classified as passive elements, or passive elements cannot generate energy, but they are used to store energy. In inductors, we symbolize an inductor as a coil of wire, and by the letter L, and it's measured in Henry's. Uh, using our passive sign convention, the current through an inductor goes from plus to minus, as does the voltage from plus to minus. That's how we use our passive sign convention. And the relationship, the voltage relationship is V equals L di dt. Now two points to remember is that under constant source DC or steady state, inductors behave as a short circuit and second point is that current cannot change instantaneously through an inductor if we look at this relationship it's the change of current over time if the, we have a constant current then we, this is zero this is zero say we have five amps for five seconds and we're analyzing it for five seconds so the change from the beginning is 5 into the end. Uh, uh, it's n current minus its initial current. 5 minus 5 is 0 over its time. And we multiply by its inductance would be 0. So your voltage would be 0. And if you have a voltage to 0, it can be simulated as a short circuit uh, or a short wire. Okay. We can derive our current from this equation. If you look over here on the right side, um, if we multiply both sides by dt, by dt, multiply both sides by dt, this dt will cancel out. This will cancel out. We have v dt equals l d, di. If we integrate both sides um, using tau as a dummy variable and x as a dummy variable, and then we divide l to both sides, we'll have this relationship. All right, and then um, on this right side of this equation, dx, this integral of dx, if we remember from calculus, that the integral of dx is simply x, simply x, okay, simply x, then we, and then we replace x by our upper limit subtracted by our lower limit, and then we add both sides by our lower limit, and we would have our relationship our current relationship of inductors is I of t equals 1 over L, the integral from its initial time to its final time of V d tau plus its initial current. Okay, and now we'll do the same thing to how we find the voltage relationship of capacitor. Capacitor is symbolized by two parallel plates and it's measured in farads sometimes in other books you might see capacitors written as this or this these two are the same thing uh, using our passive sign convention we have the voltage plus here minus here and our current going from plus to minus okay that the the current through our capacitor is equal to C capacitance dV over dt. Okay. Now under constant voltage or steady state, capacitor behaves at an open circuit. It's an open circuit. So this would pop open. Okay. We find that a voltage cannot change instantaneously in a capacitor. Okay. So if we have a constant voltage here constant voltage for our duration of time that means the change in uh, change in the voltage would be zero to zero and your current would be zero and your current zero is simulated as an open circuit okay now we can find the voltage relationship in a capacitor if we multiply both sides on the right uh, both sides by DT both sides by DT divide by C and then integrate as we did with the Inductor, integrate both sides, 
and the integral of dx is x. We, we take our upper limit subtracted by our lower limit, and we would and then add both sides by our lower limit. And we have our voltage relationship. It's 1 over c, the integral from the initial time to final time of i d tau plus v t, uh, v t naught is equal to your voltage capacitor. Okay, things to remember that inductors under steady state, under a constant source, behaves as a short circuit, okay, over time. And capacitors under constant voltage, under constant, under, under constant source, steady state, behaves as an open circuit. Okay, so so what you need to remember is that current uh, is that inductors short, capacitors open under steady state. Okay, and next we'll be talking about uh, series and parallel combinations of inductors and capacitors. Okay, and now you know a little bit about inductors. Um, w when you're trying to simplify inductors in series. And inductors in parallel. Simplify them as you would if you had resistors in series and resistors in parallel. Okay. So take a look at this. We have uh, three inductors in series. And to simplify this into one equivalent inductor, we add, we simply add up their inductances. Okay. And and if we did that for, if, if we had resistors in series, it would simply be the same. We add up the resistances. Okay, but we're doing inductors. And if we had inductors in parallel, we have three inductors in parallel, we simply um, have our equivalent inductor as 1 over. And we have 1 over equivalent um, inductance equals 1 over L1 plus 1 over L2 plus 1 over L3. Um, sim uh, same as if you were to uh, simplify three resistors, uh, resistors in parallel, you would add up um, their inverse of the resistance and then and then uh, that would be equal to 1 over its R equivalent. Okay, uh, this is a little bit different, a little different um, for capacitors. If we have capacitors in series, a series, capacitor series, we simplify into one capacitance, one, one capacitor, sorry. Um, it would be one over your equivalent capacitance is equal to one over C1 plus one over C2 plus one over C3. Right here. Um, and if we have capacitors in parallel, you would simply add up their capacitance. Uh, C1 plus C2 plus C3. Okay. So, uh, to summarize, if you have uh, inductors in series or inductors in parallel, simplify them into an equivalent induct inductor as you would simplify it as resistors. So, you can treat them as resistors when you're trying to simplify it. For capacitors, however, if you have capacitors in series, you do um, 1 over its capacitance plus 1 over the other capacitance is equal to 1 over its equivalent capacitance. If you have capacitors in parallel, simply add up their capacitance and you have your equivalent capacitance for um, an equivalent capacitor. Okay? And that will be it for um, a brief introduction for inductors and capacitors. Uh, thank you for watching.